I fell down 15 stairs in a nightclub. Blood on the brain and high pressure. So they had to re um, remove the skull from my head. My name is Mark Wilson. I'm a neurosurgery consultant and pre-hospital care specialist at Imperial. Uh, this is uh, St Mary's Hospital, a major trauma centre uh, for the West End and North West London. Uh, my area of uh, special interest is head injuries uh, and this is something that I've always been very interested in. But I think it's a real problem, not just locally but globally as well. Trauma is the commonest cause of death in the under 40s and head injury is the commonest cause of that death. Uh, so not only is it because of uh, uh, mortality but it also has a severe effect on morbidity, so many people are affected cognitively and functionally following a head injury. I've got short term memory loss. Um, I can't remember any more than three numbers because my memory just goes. Um, I can't sleep and my moods, they're better than now I'm on uh, antidepressant tablets but I can just snap and not know that I've done it and I cry, I can't be bothered to do anything, I lose my concentration. I think that's about it. <laughs> that's quite enough, isn't it? We, did, do you have any of these problems before? Nothing. So before you're in... No, I work six, nearly 16 hours a day, doing a normal life, five days a week, going out on weekends. It's the father-daughter thing. I shouldn't be living with my daughter. She's a, I, I'm not the easiest person to live with, but I mean, she's a nightmare to live with. You know, it's, it's silly things that she says and does. She doesn't mean to do it because she, you know, doesn't know what she's saying some of the time. But um, it's not easy. It hasn't been easy. I'm so happy that we're going to get a carer because I've had like nearly two years of just hold my life on hold. Hello, my name's uh, David Sharp. I'm a uh, um, National Institute of Health Research uh, professor and uh, consultant neurologist. Um, and I'm running a program of uh, research looking into the effects of traumatic brain injury, particularly focusing on cognitive problems like attention and, uh, uh, and memory. I've been looking after Ashley for some time after her head injury, and the problems that she has are very typical of, uh, of patients after um, TBI. Our research is focused on understanding why traumatic brain injury um, causes these difficulties and then working out new ways of, uh, of improving patients' uh, lives after after their injury. We have a great research team that's allowing us to investigate traumatic brain injury in different ways. The team is really multidisciplinary, so we've got psychologists, neurologists, neuroscientists and neurosurgeons all working together in a collaborative way. This is allowing us to do really high quality translational research, which is about focusing on the kinds of problems that patients have and developing new treatments for these problems. Much of our work uses uh, neuroimaging. So there have been some really exciting advances in the way we can, we can look at brain structure and function. And here are some examples of these. This is an example of a really exciting technique called diffusion tensor imaging. It's a type of magnetic resonance imaging that allows us to visualise the connections of the brain. What you can see here in multicolours is a representation of the wiring of the brain. And the brain works by transmitting information through these connections. And here we can see the complexity of how these tracks are organised in different colours. These structural connections influence activity in different brain regions. This can be measured using another type of MRI. And what you can see here is a video of brain activity over time. This is taken from a patient lying at rest in the scanner. And we're effectively taking pictures of the brain activity evolving over time. As you look at the movie, you'll see patterns um, in the brain where activity is increasing and decreasing in synchrony. These are called brain networks, and for the brain to function efficiently, the activity in these networks needs to be tightly controlled. 
Traumatic brain injury damages these brain networks, and this is what leads to memory, attention and concentration problems that patients like Ashley have. A, a final exciting direction that we're taking at the moment is trying to really model um, brain activity. Um, so we're working with uh, computer scientists to develop models of uh, how brain regions uh, interact, um, and this is a, a video illustrating some of the ideas. So here you can see little oscillating circles that represent activity in different parts of the brain, and you can imagine and how information might flow around the system as different brain regions interact with each other. And by understanding uh, and building a, a, a mathematical model of that, we can really predict the kind of uh, abnormalities that we'll see after traumatic brain injury. Firstly, we're um, working with our colleagues uh, in the, the basic sciences within Imperial to develop preventative strategies to limit brain injury. Um, uh, secondly, we're investigating ways of uh, predicting which patients are going to run into long-term problems. Um, and thirdly, um, we're looking at ways of improving outcome, for example, uh, by treating persistent inflammation, which can cause long-term problems, um, and also um, improving brain repair. And this is a really exciting time to be working in the area. We're optimistic of uh, making progress.